All right, now, second cab off the rank, mosquitoes. Uh, we have Cheesy's Reserva Belgian Christmas Ale, BBA, Bourbon Barrel Aged. Uh, the next one's 10%. Uh, normal Cheesy's is freaking awesome. Uh, I think I've still got a 2011 stashed away somewhere, so. They do really good stuff and they age fantastically. Um, apparently Jason was telling me that those sunglasses on old mate Cheesy's there, uh, they made him put made him put a money in when they started importing that into America because he's got bloodshot eyes. Uh, I don't know what cheesies means, but anyway, uh, I think it's got something to do with a hangover. So he's got bloodshot eyes, and the American government made them cover the up because it could suggest drug use or something like that. Which I don't know. I think it's a little bit over the top, but anyway, that's just me. Anyway, uh, this one was imported into the USA by the Shelton brothers, and so it's, it was destined for export from Belgium. And my mate Jason got himself some. So, pours a hazy copper colour. Now, my, ironically, my other mate Jason, uh, who's, I only know two Jasons, and they're both part of the Best Beer Club in Australia. One, import, one owns it, and the other one's a member. He told me this one was fantastic. So, I love cheesies, and I love bourbon barrel aged beers. So, cheers. On the nose, there's uh, heaps of dried fruits, like plums, prunes, raisins. You get hints of bourbon, a uh, little bit of alcohol in the nose, um, hints of oak. And yeah, it's mainly uh, dried fruit, uh, sort of like um, dark, caramelly sort of characters. Ooh, that's very nice. Um, Carbonation is actually a lot higher than the uh, head suggests. It's, um, it's actually quite a high carbonation. Makes it nice and light and fluffy in the mouth. You get lovely sort of caramel toffee notes up front, the uh, dark fruits, plums, prunes, raisins, hints of bourbon, a uh, little bit of warm alcohol, but it's not hot at all. Uh, the oak definitely takes a back seat. There's not much oak happening there, which surprises me. I'm um, not really getting too much vanilla either, which I expected I would, but there's a real spiciness to the yeast. I think there could be extra spicing in the beer. Uh, given it's a Christmas beer, but yeah, it's really good. Medium, like really, like kind of sweet malt up front, medium full body, um, good firm bitterness, uh, but a lovely dry finish. That alcohol warmth, the um, hint of bourbon, uh, I guess there's a light astringency there from the oak. Uh, that helps dry it out. It's not, it's certainly not prominent whatsoever, but it's just a really well balanced, hideously drinkable beer. Uh, you know there's a bit of alcohol in it, just from that slicker sort of mouthfeel. But man, this is a ridiculously, disgustingly drinkable beer at 10%. So, if you find yourself cheesies, whether it be the Christmas version or the standard version, do yourself a favour.